Today I'm going to be replacing some keys on my Clavineva. I have a CLP 930 and I'm just going to be replacing some keys that I ordered from Yamaha 247. Um, they came in the mail <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, but I'm just now getting around to putting them on to look like this. I have some sticky keys and so I'm going to go ahead and replace them now. And I'm going to go ahead and put you on a overhead view so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, first I'm going to take off the music stand, <clears throat> and then I'm going to, there's going to be some screws out here, but I've already taken those, loosened those, and I'm going to pull the top off. And carefully set that aside so it doesn't get scratched at all. Now I have to take off the lid. a little place to pull that out there. And then if you turn it to the side a little bit, it comes off like a little bit at an angle there. And I've already loosened some screws right here. There's two screws there, two there, and two there, two there, and two there. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull this out of the way right there carefully, not disturbing any wires. And then I've also taken these screws out here, the screws all along the keyboard. There's like 30 screws in all, so I went ahead and did that before this video. Now I have a knife, just a regular butter knife, but it's a really thin one, like a cheap one. Okay. And it works perfectly for this job. So I'm going to go ahead and find my sticky note, which is right here. You can see how it just goes. Well, I don't know if you can see it or not. It comes up a little bit slowly. And you have to push down where this little arrow is right here. There's like a little spring. So you push down with your knife about, I don't know, an inch into it. And then you push the whole key this direction. Okay, and that releases it, and then you can just pop it. Oh, you need to push the whole key back forward first. Okay, and then it should come out. You kind of have to push on it. There you go, key's out. All right, and I'm going to look at that, compare it to this one, see if there's any reason why it would be sticky. You have to take this part right here, it's this little wax part. Take that off. There you go. Come off and then I'm just going to stick that on the new key. Okay and then there should be a little bit of grease kind of around in this old key and I'm going to put that on the black part right here. And there should also be a little bit of grease down in here. I'm just going to take some from the old key and put it on the new key because it needs that to lubricate it. And then I should be ready just to stick it back in. So I'm going to make sure that I get this spring right here inside this part of the key. Okay. And then I'm going to push down and forward until it catches and then click it back. Okay, and it should have clicked in there. Um, it's making a little bit of a clicky sound, so I'm going to go and try that again. Just make sure I've got it clicked in there, right? Okay. And that should be just fine. Oh, it's making a bit of a clicky sound. I'm just try to play one more time. And all the way. The spring has to be clicked in as well. And then now it's not clicked in. Okay, it comes up nice and easy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more keys. While I'm here, 
made a list of the ones that were sticking, okay, and then I just emailed Yamaha 24-7, and they sent me the code. Then I had to go onto the website and order it through them. But as I'm teaching or playing, I just start making a note of any notes that are sticking, so that way I don't have to find them later on. Sometimes the weather changes whether I stick or not. So this one's a D. So we're going to start with D3. So one, two, three. Okay, so we'll pop that one out. This is the old keys. Oh, I'm going to take the black. All right, you just go this direction with it, kind of use your finger down, slide it off. It's a little stiff sometimes. Okay. And then I'm just going to pop that on the main key. Slide it over like this and until it clicks. And then make sure I have some a little bit of crease on there so it's just smooth. And then also down here. There should be some on the actual action of the keyboard too. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that this spring is clicked in there. There's like a little bit of plastic. It has to be underneath. And make sure it's clicked there. Pull it forward. Make sure it's clicked everywhere. And oh, that didn't sound good again. Okay, let's try again. Shouldn't make any noise. Oops. No. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't make any noise, you're good. That's good. All right, so that's the D. And here's another D. So I have D number two. Well, so we just count the D's at one. Okay. It's also a little bit sticky. Push the knife down, pull it forward, come up. Remove the black part. And it on the new key. Lubrication. I think sometimes this part of the key gets a little bit warm and so it maybe starts cracking and that's what or they maybe warp a little bit on the sides and so they start sticking at the time. So we can do the first one this one. Oh, I think I did. Not like make any clicky sounds. So that's three. Three more. This is a B. It tells you right here if you look. I don't know if you can see that or not. You can see it says key white B right there. And it doesn't really matter which octave they are in, they're all the same. The Bs are the same, like each individual key is the same. So I know I need B7, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Get that one out. There's an arrow at the top of the key right here, and just put your knife down in wherever that, whichever direction that arrow is going. Okay, and then I'm going to take the black part off again. On to the new key. And... Location from the old key. I'm 
Okay, oh, there's a lot on that one. A little bit down here as well. Sorry, can't see it right there. Oops. And that's it then. You want it to this part right here to go in here, and then there's a down here. There's a little like white part that sticks out, and that needs to hook onto the key as well. So that's the bit that if it doesn't go in properly, it clicks. And that's not desirable. And yeah, that was good. And we have this. Oh, I think that's all I have. Oh, wait, no. Two more. And we have another G. So we, did, we need G6, which we count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right here. Go ahead and take that one out. For the arrow, the arrow is going this direction, so I'm going to push down, click it forward until it hooks, and then come up. Take off the black part. <clears throat> Place it on the new. Lubricating. Oh, it's not going in. Oh, it went the wrong direction. There we go. Do some lubrication in there. Put it on. And put that on this key. Sticking it on the very end. Just sit right here. So it doesn't get stuck, I guess. I don't know. Um, Make sure the spring is stuck down in the black section. Put that in there. Oops. Okay, pushing forward and down. Click forward. And there. Okay, and let's see, there should be one more. And this is E. And that E is E7. We count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, going up really slowly. And I'm going to push this down forward. Up. Take that off. Off the black part. On there, can you see that a little bit closer? Just you just slide it down, slide it forward, and some lubrication. Put it on here. And we'll put a little bit down here as well. Okay. And I'm gonna push this in the spring. This direction, push down. So if it catches it, then I should go back. And it's not clicking, so we're good. All right. So now that we've replaced the keys, I'm going to scoot the keyboard back. Well, that's me sure the holes are in there. I'm not going to replace the screws right now, but if you have the screws, you are going to put them back in all of those holes. I'm going to show you one of the screws, what the screws look like. This is. Okay, so you're just going to put those in. I'm choosing not to do that right now, and then I'm just going to go ahead and bring this back up. Set those where they go. Where the holes are. Should be some little square holes right in here. You're going to screw some smaller screws in there. And then we need to replace the cover. Okay, again, you have to do this a little bit sideways. 
I know it's a little bit hard to see from there, but I'm going to go in kind of at an angle. Um, there's some holes right on the edges. It has to go, it has to go in. So I'm sure it goes in those holes. Right? Oh, wait. No. We have to get the front part in, which on the track first. So uh, I think I can get. There's like a screw that you have to put in a little bit sideways. And then once that's in, then you can put the whole back part in the holes right here on the very side. Okay, and then it, once you do that, it should slide up and down. Now there is a, a little plastic piece to go in the side that you have to screw in right there. I probably have a piece of that in here somewhere. It looks like this. So you just replace that and put that in to cover it, and it just keeps the cover from popping out. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. And then we'll put the top on. We'll just slide it here. And I get it. And then you're going to go forward over that screw. Just slide forward. Oh. There we go. I'm just going to lift it up a little bit at the end and then it slides right in and it should go back up. And then there are some screws back here. Um, that you're going to want to screw together so it doesn't come apart because you have them. Well, you probably want to do that just to secure it. And then put this stand back on and it should work. We'll see. And I just got another mess that probably is going to need to be replaced next time. Thank you for joining me and I hope, well, disclaimer. I am not a Yamaha technician, but I got this piano off of Marketplace at a really good price, but there were a couple of keys that were broken. And so periodically, about once a year, I have to buy a couple of keys to fix it, but I got it for an excellent price. So, you know, do not do this at home, but if you want to know how to do it, watch the video. Thank you. Bye.